Hi, I'm Linda Burhans, the gal who cares for caregivers with love, laughter, and lessons learned. There are over 44 million caregivers in the United States, a huge number. And although many of them have not had any kind of formal training or education, they make it through this journey. And one of the ways they make it through the journey is by tuning in to Connecting Caregivers Radio. We are there to give them inspiration, information, and a shoulder for the caregivers. Caregivers do not know what they do not know. And that's why we have this radio show. Good afternoon and welcome to Connecting Caregivers Radio. With me, Linda Burhan, a gal who cares for caregivers with love, laughter, and lessons learned. With me, as always, my best friend, my co-host, and my sidekick, not sidekick, Lynn Thornley. Hi, I'm Kathy, and I'm a full-time caregiver for my uh, uncle that has Parkinson's disease and my boyfriend that has traumatic brain injury, and we all three live together. It's a full-time, 24-7 job. Linda has this great radio show, show, too, for caregivers, and I've been listening to that steadily for uh, probably a year and a half, almost two years now. It's fabulous. Uh, her and her sidekick, Lynn, are, are they're interesting and, and they have interesting guests. They're an endless supply of resources for caregivers. Hi, I'm Becky Moultrie. I'm owner of Assisting Hands Home Care serving Pinellas County, Florida. As a sponsor of Linda's program, um, Linda has so many people that reach out to her for resources and um, she connects me with them, which has been a benefit to my business because it's brought me new clients. <laughs> Some of us can use our phones. Some of us just flip it open and nothing's there. Well, you know what they say, some people have a smartphone, Lynn has an old fart phone. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Cronin. I am a counselor. Every week, Linda has someone on the show who can help caregivers, who can give them advice that they need and help them along their journey. When I come on the air with Linda, it's a lot of fun. She's so energetic and we just have a great time. And we just have a conversation and talk about what are the things that caregivers need to know. Well, I gotta tell you a cool thing. I got an email uh, yesterday from this woman and she said, uh, Dear Linda, I have to tell you, since listening to your show, I have found joy in the journey because as you say, join the journey, go into their world. I was so upset with my mom and every day was so hard. The information and tips you give have taught me so much. I live in the country and was pretty isolated. I could not find a support group, so I started one myself. We listen to the show every week and then we get together to talk about what we have learned and other suggestions and support to each other. And yes, we all laugh. After my mom passed away, I was in the supermarket one day and I met with a woman friend of mine and she said to me, how you doing, Linda? And I said, I'm doing okay. And she said to me, you know, I'm sick of hearing that, Linda. She said, I have to let you know that when you took care of your mother, you stole my joy. And I said, I, 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 I did what? And she said, I could see you swimming in quicksand and every time I asked to help you, you said, no, I'm okay. So when people offer to help you, please accept their help because they love you and they want to help you. That's why they're asking you. And you may not realize it, but if I keep saying no to them, you're first of all, you're pushing them away from you and you want them to be there. And second of all, you could be hurting their feelings because they're just there to help you. So do not steal the joy of your friends, of your neighbors, of your family that want to help you. It excites me every week after the show when I hear from caregivers how much it has helped them. We have more and more listeners every week, especially since we've gone digitally, we are national. And now I'm looking to find other radio stations that want to partner with me to help caregivers. As Rosalind Carter said, you are a caregiver, you have been a caregiver, you will be a caregiver, or someone's going to be taking care of you. So if you're interested, give me a call. Linda Burhans, the gal who cares for caregivers, with love, laughter, and lessons learned.